welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, I came across a neat piece of uh, free software, if you've got a flex radio, called SWR Plotter. SWR Plotter, and it's by K9DUR. K9DUR. If you'll Google uh, SWR Plotter, K9DUR, uh, you should come across this uh, software on Google. Anyway, it's pretty neat. I've got the antenna tuner bypassed right now, and we're going to run some tests on the Mosley beam that I've got up on top of the tower. And, of course, that's a, a 10, 15, 20, and 40-meter beam. It's got a 40-meter kit on it. So let's uh, take a look at uh, the different uh, bands and see just how the SWR would plot on that band. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to select 10 meters. Let's, so here we go. Uh, we're going to start plotting 10 meters now. Now it's going to transmit a signal at about 5 watts while it's doing this. So here we go. And as you can see, it's drawing a plot line across the frequencies on 10 meters and <laughs> appears to be uh, everything under uh, 2 to 1 SWR all the way across uh, 10 meters. Really good on 10 meters. So let's clear that off of there. We'll switch to 15 meters. And I've got it over on 15 meters right now. And let's change the plot to 15 meters. And let's start another analysis. Here we go. And there you go. As you can see, 15 meters is, uh, I don't know if you could get it any better than that. Uh, literally all the way across the band uh, under uh, 1.5 to 1, 1.5 to 1 SWR, and a whole lot of it is way less than that. So, And if you look over to the right, you'll see it's actually printed out a little listing for you of uh, the frequency and the SWR, so uh, pretty good. And, of course, you can print these off as you plot them and have a paper copy if that's what you want. No problem. <clears throat> Let's uh, move on up to 20 meters. And we'll try 20 meters now. So uh, let's click the 20 meter graph and start another analysis. Boy, it came down very quickly. <laughs> and as you can see, we set that basically toward the uh, phone section of the band. And it all looks pretty good above 14.150. And everything beyond that looks uh, real good. It's actually declining. I guess we could have pushed it a little more uh, you know, down the band a little bit, but uh, 20 still looks pretty good, and uh, a 3 to 1 SWR for digital, I can tune that right out of there uh, without much problems with my tuner, so 20 looks pretty good, so let's look at uh, 40 meters now, let's clear these results, uh, move on to 40, and change the radio to 40 meters. And then we'll test 40 meters. Here we go. And wow, 40 meters looks really, really good with that great dip in it right there. 
and uh, literally everything that I would work uh, just darn near to the end of the band is uh, below three to one. Uh, everything and most uh, and most all of it is below two. So uh, you know you got a, the end there, the upper part of the band around seven point three. That kind of getting up there to three to one, but everything else below there is just fantastic. So what can I say? I'm happy with the beam. Plots out really well, and uh, any little. Uh, uh, SWR that might be a little out of line on the toward the beginning or the ends of the band I can easily tune out with my MFJ 986 tuner without any problems whatsoever with that said as I usually do I wish you 73 and clear skies and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night See y'all later. Everybody be good.